Hey everyone, welcome back and happy Friday. Okay guys, so I am down in South Florida. It is so weird, let me tell you. I went to Starbucks this morning and I I have a routine, guys. I don't know how you guys, um, I think that we all have routines, right? Every morning when I wake up at 6.55 a.m. on the dot, like I don't have an alarm. It's like an internal alarm. I wake up, I go to Starbucks wherever I live. I do the same thing. And then during the day when we're hungry, I go to Publix and I never fully like grocery shop. I just buy things here and there. Publix is our uh, grocery store. But I buy things here and there and I get to know everyone. So I came down here. I haven't been here in six months since we moved to Hilton Head. And I was like, oh, hi. Hey, Mike. Hey, Adam, you're back. No, I'm not back. Hey, Sheila. Hey. <laughs> this is like we, I don't know. Not important. What is important is Mauricio Umansky moved out. There's a lot of going on and I'm going to talk about all of it. So if you guys haven't already, go ahead, pop off in the comment section. If you're not subscribed, get subscribed. Don't forget to hit that notification bell and uh, we'll see you soon. Well, actually in two seconds. <laughs> All right, guys. So this is kind of a big deal. I'm not going to lie. Um, Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, Mauricio Umansky. Thank you to Reality Blurb. He has exited the building. Now, Mauricio Umansky has moved out of his shared home with Kyle Richards and into a new condo in West Hollywood, California. Hmm. Okay, Mauricio, getting your groove back and whatnot. Nearly a year after the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills couple announced their separation after 27 years of marriage, a couple of insiders have confirmed Mauricio's condo purchase, but stated that Kyle and Mauricio still have no plans to divorce. Kyle and Mo have been living separately for the last few months, and he's been staying there. They've both been traveling a lot recently, so it's working out where they don't stay under one roof. But that said, the insider added that when Kyle is traveling, Mauricio will visit their primary residence often. Kyle and Mauricio share three daughters, including Alexia, Sophia, Portia, and obviously we know Fair is involved, um, not biologically linked to Mauricio. But as the second source revealed that Matt Damon has an $8.6 million unit in the same West Hollywood building as Mauricio, the first confirmed divorce is not an option. Hmm. They're saying that there are multiple sources who are now talking to outlets. One saying, you know what? Mauricio is moving out. He's going to live in a condo. He's going to have his own situation. He's going to be kind of like really focusing on himself and what this split means for them. But they're not getting a divorce. Divorce is not on the table right now. Let me tell you something. Henny, if I, if Jason and I were going through it, and he went and bought a new place and then dropped my last name from all of his socials. And we were public figures in that way. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of common freaking sense that the next logical answer or idea that people would have would be that we would be divorcing. So this is con like you guys, if you are not divorcing or whatever, and you know what, at the end of the day, it is up to Kyle and Mauricio to decide whatever they want to decide but like obviously it's all in the optics and people look at this like oh there's something wrong which makes sense i think it makes a lot of sense but wait getting back to it we're not done, we're never done. so they both agreed it's too messy financially as kyle has a huge stake in the agency but um the insider also explained that during the 13th season of Beverly Hills, Kyle opened up about her split, admitting that the trust was broken, but stating at the reunion that she'd never shared the real reason that they broke up. It's nobody's fucking business. With any marriage, there's issues that you have. They come up. You get busy. You've got kids. Something, like I said in my interview, happened where I did lose my trust. I care about my family first. And I tried. I really did try. So then when I couldn't, you know, the kind of things I don't want to say putting up with just became more apparent to me and i guess i guess i couldn't do that anymore and i finally had a breaking point 
But in other Kyle Richards news, her Real Housewives of Beverly Hills return remains up in the air as rumors claim that she, if she does not expose her rumored romance with Morgan Wade, she will be fired. The producers feel that Kyle has said all she can say about her split from Mauricio, and now it's time to tell the truth about her dating Morgan. Kyle has beat around the bush a ton on Morgan, and it is getting old, and it's time for her to finally admit that there's more to the friendship. I mean, it's not just the producers who feel that way. But I do have a clip that I'm going to share with you because I love my clips. Thank you. Here we go. We're coming back for our HOBH. I can't confirm that. It's been hard. Um, like I said, when the talk started happening again, it was just really soon for me after everything um, last season. So, um, but uh, I'll have an answer soon. I'll have an answer soon. You confirm you're coming back for our. Mm. Well, that doesn't really feel like it's like the most promising. But on top of that, just to kind of add to what's going on, I guess. I mean, this actually is really, really sad. But just to add to what's going on, Kyle Richards um, did drop her last name from her social media. This was after he moved out, but despite removing her second surname, she described herself as a wife in her bio, as it read, mom, wife, actor, author, producer, animal lover, and a real housewife of Beverly Hills. And then she put CAA, which is who represents her, which is massive. But she made the change just a few days after it was revealed that uh, Mauricio moved out of their shared home and that he's currently residing in the condo. But while it's unclear how much he is paying for his new unit, he lives in the same building, again, as Matt Damon. However, nobody knows if he bought it or if he is renting it. Because now I've seen multiple, multiple, multiple outlets say oh Mauricio is renting this unit he's buying this unit I think at this point that people don't even give a shit they just want to know what the hell is happening with Mauricio and what's happening with Kyle and what's happening most importantly because everybody's like wait is she with Morgan Wade is she not with Morgan Wade that's the big question because we don't freaking know and some people are like mind your own business yeah guess what honey we're not minding our business when you're on reality TV because that's the very thing that you signed up for. So as far as we know right now with Kyle Richards and Morgan Wade, I'm just telling you what we know. Um, it sounds like there were ultimatums, but it was an April 30th appearance on Amazon Live after being asked about her potential return. She did say what I just you know showed you that she can't confirm it right now. But she said, I don't even know what I'm doing yet, guys. So this cannot be true. And that's addressing the ultimatum from producers, either showcase what's really going on with Morgan or be fired. I don't even know what I'm doing yet, guys, so that can't be true. Looking back at her past and present castmates, Kyle said longtime family friend Faye Resnick has been asked to return. Faye was a cast member, and then I think they asked her again, and she said no. For Kyle, it's hard to say which season had the best cast. However, she did give a nod to the group season from season one, which included Lisa Vanderpump, Adrian Malouf, Kim Richards, Camille Grammer, and Taylor Armstrong. The original cast was amazing, and we had so many great people. But at the conclusion of season 13 earlier this year, Kyle and Dorit's friendship was strained, and still months later, they remain estranged. I haven't seen her or spoken to her, actually. As for who she's been in the most contact with since filming, she said, I would say Sutton and Erica. But on the heels of the exits of Anne-Marie Wiley and Crystal Kung Minkoff, Kyle was asked who was the most deserving of a second season. She said Diana Jenkins and Anne-Marie. I really like Catherine Edwards, Diana and Anne-Marie. I don't know. I would have liked to see more of them. She then addressed her acting career saying that she's been taking a break. And she said, you know, what's funny? I just had a movie come out recently and I never, ever watched it. I'm just taking a break from life. Oy, oy, oy. Okay, I want to hear what you guys think. So pop off in the comment section. If you're not subscribed, get subscribed. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. And tell me if you think that this is the next step to divorce. Love you guys. We'll see you in a little bit.